Yo, what up? It's Chemist Nate with the electron configuration of potassium. Potassium is K on the periodic table. It is the first element in the fourth row of the periodic table. The reason I'm pointing out where it is is because when I'm doing electron configurations, I have this chart in my mind. It's easy to remember. See, one, two, three, four, five. S's are in this block. This is the P block. And the D block is here, and those are just one behind. There's an F block as well. I don't know if you're gonna get there or not. But the point is that potassium is the first element in the fourth row. So we gotta go all the way up to this element that I'm pointing at right here. For the full electron configuration, I gotta list everything that comes before it. Let's do it together, shall we? One S, and you can fit two electrons in an S orbital. Next, we have two S, and again, you can fit two electrons in an S. 2p, you can fit six electrons in a p subshell. There's actually three orbitals there, but whatever. 3s2 is next, that's 3s2. 3p is next, you can fit six electrons in a p. If you're wondering how I knew it was six electrons, by the way, this block is six elements wide, yeah? And then I finally get to the 4s, and potassium is the first element in that. So I write 4s, but I only have to go one element deep into it to get there. You'll notice that 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1 is 19, and that's the element number of potassium. It's the atomic number written there. This is the full electron configuration of potassium. You might be asked for what's called shorthand. Shorthand means go to the previous noble gas. In this case, it's argon, and argon ends my 3p row. So all the way up to 3p6, that whole chunk there can just get replaced by ar and square brackets. And then you just show the extra, which is 4s1. Wasn't that easy? It shows that the inner shell electrons up to the end of 3p6 are identical to an argon atom. Now you might have been asked for potassium's ion. Potassium likes a charge of plus one. A plus one charge means you lose an electron. And so you write out everything except for the, you take away an electron from the highest n. n equals one, n equals two, n equals three, n equals four. That's the highest I go. So I remove one electron from that. You can write it all out, 1s2, 2, 2, ooh, 2s2, 2p6, uh, 3s2, 3p6. I like writing 4s0 to emphasize to my teacher that I know it's now an empty subshell. But the point is, s1 disappeared. It's technically optional to write. Now you're not allowed to simply write ar in square brackets. You have to go back to the previous noble gas from its configuration. That actually for us is HE, which is, oh no, it's NE at the end of 2P6. Oh man. 1S2, 2S2, 2P6 is all encompassed by neon in square brackets. And then we can write 3S2, 3P6 and show that K plus is right here. Isoelectronic with argon, but you're not allowed to just put AR in square brackets. Ah, those are the breaks, eh? Okay, electron configuration for potassium ends with 4s1. You either have to write out everything that came before it or use the noble gas configuration. If you take away an electron, you take it out of the 4s, make it 4s0 or just chop that off entirely. If you need the shorthand for K+, you gotta go all the way back to neon, then list 3s2, 3p6. Beautiful, four questions in one right here. Best of luck.